unbelievable. A pastor, a redeemed Christian Church of God pastor, was beaten mercilessly by a masquerade. A pastor of the redeemed Christian Church of God, Daniel Mba, has narrated how some youth in masquerade apparel attacked and flogged him on Saturday evening when he was going to church. The pastor disclosed on Sunday that the horrible incident occurred at it's a community in the Igboze North local government area of Enugu State. He said he was riding a motorcycle and trying to maneuver his way when he saw a crowd of people and some masquerades harassing people and collecting money from passers-by. He said the bunch chased him, forced him to get down from his motorbike after they caught up with him and started beating him with canes. He said, I was going to church around 6 p.m., or 7 p.m. and there were these guys dressed in masquerade attire who started pursuing me. They caught up with me and started flogging me. There were many at the junction and positioned themselves in strategic places. I tried to escape them because I was on a bike. They started with one cane, later they doubled it and they increased it to three, Mba said. When asked if the unemployment among youth could be Responsible for this, the victim explained that the people involved are not Igbo but Idoma and Igara residing in Enugu. He further revealed that when he reported the incident to some vigilantes at a nearby post, he was told it was their culture and nothing could be done about the assault. I tried to manage to report at their neighborhood watch. It is not about the unemployment of the youth. They said it is their culture. They are Idoma and Igara. They are not from Enugu State but belong to other tribes. When I reported them at their neighborhood watch, they said it is their culture and that if I went to the police station, there was nothing they could do about it. There was not even a police post there, it's only a neighborhood post. They really messed me up. They flogged me. They said the name of the person that led the attack on me was Ketu. But I suspected they didn't want to give me his real name. He added, he said that that was what, that was not the first time that the assailants extorted people and flogged those who had no money to pay. Adding that no agency or group checks their excesses. That was not their first time. It happened at a community in Igbo, the North Local Government area in Erugu. No, I don't have business with them or any group there. I'm a pastor under the ROCCG. These people really messed me up. They have to be stopped, Mba added. <laughs> it is their culture. Which culture is that to assault people? Nigeria is a lawless place. Anything can happen. Anything goes. We shall see what Biafra will become. Waiting concern Biafra on this matter. Of course, they say they are Igara and Idoma people that that is their culture. Means what? Can someone respect people's culture? So, respecting people's culture is to beat other people. Uncivilized, uncivilized culture in this modern world is that what we have come to live with. Some of these pastors don't respect the customs and traditions, the, their life around or the life around them. They insult these youth on masquerades, tagging them unbelievers and other derogatory languages instead of going their way. Is this pastor the only pastor that passed that way? Hmm. Beating up the pastor. Well, as a man of God, I will just report them to my father that he should just allow one angel to flog them back and see what will happen later. What kind of culture is that? Now they said if you go to the police, no, nothing the police can do because they will tell you that is their culture. Everybody around say, no, oh, they can't do anything. So... But is he collecting money from people forcefully because from the reports we are getting now that if you don't have money to pay, that is what will happen to you. But I don't think that is the culture that will not be forcing people to pay. But that is just what they are telling us. Maybe there are more to that. But one thing is that in Nigeria, anything can happen. Anything, every, the unthinkable happens. So it's just so, so, so difficult. If, you are, if we are in a sane environment of where we have a system in place. All of these things wouldn't have been happening. There are some things that you'll be wondering that this could this kind of a thing happen. Yes. As fast as it is Nigeria, anything can happen. You just on your own. 
and some people just come and and will lay you. Uh, there was a a story that was, was told by some journalist one day that a lady was just going and it, uh, before you know some men just grabbed her and began to you know harass her and people were just seeing seeing them and people just like you know everybody was just going their own business doing their own thing they were just minding their own business and the lady was expecting people or passers-by to say oh what is wrong with you people why are you people molesting this girl that girl was so shocked how can this kind of a thing be happening and and people saw that she was in danger and people were just minding their business and some people said ah that a yeah, lot of people are trying to mind their business because by the time you say okay oh you want to know what is happening before you know it you will collect your own and nobody will do anything so the best best they will just leave you like that so that is what the, the country has turned into not good beating not good beating a man of god for that matter all such practices must be banned they cannot be banned but must be reformed and we will say that all this happening in a country where there is law is there any law in this country no pastor whenever you see a masquerade of that kind run how do you want us to help it is the people's culture we can only ask for caution you see why people prefer santa cross for the christmas to africa masquerade i don't get it every a bus is anti-clockwise everything about us is anti-clockwise flogs your fellow man unjustly this is barbaric they should have practice their culture in peace and sanity this is very bad beating law abiding citizen in that manner is evil and portray this country in bad image why can't you do your thing in decency terrible this must stop let your state assembly pass bill against open masquerade celebration if not it will continue and one day they will not allow free movements of people where is Nigeria going to? This is abomination. The problem of this country is nothing but lack of true love. If you check Israel very well, they have Islamic, Judaism, Christian and other, and they live in unity, but come back to Africa, especially Nigeria. Number one of churches, many GO, many mosques, everywhere, and some claim that they see God. Some say they hear from God directly. All this cannot Help us until we change our bad attitude. Bible says love does not keep see jealous, backbiting, and so on and so forth. We should stop deceiving ourselves, going um even at uh, going even after death. Or what is this person say? Because God is love. God is love. We should avoid tribalism, religion, opposition, selfishness. Then our nation will be great, and other country will be motivated to come here. If not, fire cannot stop fire, and hatred cannot defeat hatred unless we apply love. If not, picking where uh, they say mother no go sleep. Okay, the picking will say mother no go sleep for night. The picking say he don't go see sleep. Oh. The picking will say mother no go sleep. He said no go see sleep. <laughs>